everybody, my name is Jason. I'm the founder of HealthHotSea.com and I'm a certified health coach. And I'm really passionate about health and wellness. And today, one of those things that could help you in your wellness journey is NAD. And it matters a lot because the cells need NAD to produce energy. So right here is a cell. And inside of that cell is the mitochondria. And it's a common misconception but there is a lot of mitochondria. There's not just one mitochondria per cell, it's actually a lot. And these guys are really, really important because they're the ones that are producing energy for the cell so the cell can function. So why does that matter? Energy production matters so your cell can function properly. And you need NAD as a substrate to produce ATP. Without NAD, we can't produce ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. And that process, that, that biochemical process, is taking NAD, adding an electron, and making NADH. In turn, that process converts ATP. And that all happens within the electron transport chain, within the mitochondria, in between the inner, the outer and inner membrane, is the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain produces ATP through aerobic respiration. And I know there's a lot of big terms here, but just imagine that inside this mitochondria, there's two layers, and in between those two layers is this process that's taking NAD and making ATP. And as we age, our NAD levels go down. So we really need to make sure that we're getting the proper nutrients from our food or supplementing with NAD so that we can produce ATP to give these mitochondria the energy that they need to do their job to give the cells the energy to do their job. All right, so right now I really wanted to go over a few things about the diet and how we take things from our diet to make NAD. So in our diet, we're gonna be looking for two substrates that make NAD. One is niacin, which is vitamin B3, and tryptophan, which is amino acid. Both of these are in high amounts in meat sources, but if you're vegan, you wanna make sure that you're getting tryptophan because plants don't have a lot of this amino acid. And also, vitamin B3, niacin, is something you may also wanna supplement with if you're a vegan. Both of those in your diet will make NAD. You can also make NAD from three sources of supplementation. One is NR, which is nicotinamide riboside, NMN, which is nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NAD+. All of those are going to make NAD. And when we make NAD, we know that it produces ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. So making sure that you have this in your diet or you're using these as supplementation to make NAD is a fantastic way to make sure that your cells are producing enough energy. All right, so I wanted to talk about what happens when you actually take NAD. So when you take NAD, it's increasing your NAD to NADH ratio. And what happens in the cell is when we have a, a higher NAD pool, the cells are actually going to create fission and fusion. Fission is actually the splitting or the taking apart. So when we increase our NAD, cellular fission is happening in the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are actually splitting and what is happening is it's creating mitochondrial biogenesis. And then when the mitochondria are in biogenesis, the weaker mitochondria are killed off through mitophagy and then the good mitochondria actually go through fusion, which is the joining of mitochondria to make one bigger mitochondria that is stronger because of the NAD creating a higher NAD to NADH ratio by creating fission, which is the splitting of, and then fusion, which is bringing them back in. So here's some ways that you can get NAD. You can take an oral capsulation, which is effective, but usually from supplementation, you're only going to assimilate about 20 to 30% of what you're taking orally. NAD can also be given topically through a patch, which I have done myself and continue to do. Also, 
there's some new studies showing that subcutaneous injections of NAD are working fairly well. Also, there's intranasal, which is new. I don't know much about it, but I'm assuming it's as effective because it's going into the mucous membranes. And then the sublingual, which is under the tongue. But the best form of NAD by far that has the most transformational effects on the patient is IV NAD. I think that's the most effective way and if your doctor does provide it, give it a try. It can really help your cells. As always, thank you for joining me today on this video about NAD. If you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you want more updates and weekly videos from me, hit the subscribe button. And for all things health and wellness, visit healthopsy.com. Also, I'm going to link in the show notes some of the radical health hacks that I've done at home which includes NAD IV and topical NAD patches. I'm going to link both of those videos below. Thanks for watching. This is Jason from healthopsy.com.